What is going on, everybody? We are back on in One Piece, episode 2, 2 of 960, I think. Didn't a new episode just come out? I don't know. We got a while to go. Uh, got introduced to the main character. He's got some Gumby, bungee gum thing going on. I don't know if that's going to be explored on kind of... I think, what did the, the big pirate chick refer to it as? Devil Fruit or something like that? Um, the redhead girl, which I'm sure they'll catch up and we'll find more about and then and then the little kid i'm curious if like the little kid is like gonna be his sidekick is that gonna be his krillin or like is he, he kind of gonna be a one-off thing that you know was just used to help uh introduce luffy um he's got some wild interesting things going on um i'm curious if kind of because you can kind of judge by the opening I'm curious if it's going to have that, like, Naruto feel. You know how, like, early Naruto... Th the abilities and things weren't that complex. And it was just kind of like, oh, these people have these raw, kind of, like, broken-ish abilities. Like, Naruto has that extra chakra in him. Or, like, you know, the abilities, or if you were from a certain clan, it was like, oh, wow, you're strong. But then as, like, Naruto kind of got towards the end and transitioned in, transi transitioned into Shippuden, you start seeing people come up with these wild, unique abilities and jutsus and things that only they could do and just this crate. And it got, like, more complex, more flashy. The animation got better. Um, I'm kind of getting that feeling here. Kind of has that same kind of Dragon Ball feel where, like, it wasn't too crazy or flashy. You could tell the art style is a little bit older. But as we go, I'm very interested to see the transition to, like, what abilities and effects and things may come. Um, and yeah, everybody's trying to become the Pirate King out here. Episode 2, we got past the opening, and I forgot how strict Toei is and shit. The first episode out of Damn Near a Thousand, we got copyrighted for, so um, that's unfortunate. So I don't know if we'll have to go lighter than this or smaller than this, but I remember with my Dragon Ball, Toei doesn't really play that. Um, that nonsense. So we'll see. We're pressing play right now. So we're going to skip past the opening every time just to not deal with it. Gobi. <sighs> Luffy-san. Oh, yeah, they had to go get somebody, right? They were trying to get somebody to add to the squad. Like, they're building this guy up. You know how, like, early Naruto days and Dragon Ball, like, they introduced these villains, and like, holy shit, they're broken. They're so strong. And then, fast forward to the next chapter season. Enter the Great Swordsman, Pirate Hunter Zoro. And it's like, wow, those villains were actually really weak. <laughs> but that's with any anime. When the kids are little, their villains aren't going to be as strong as like when they are grown. I like how the background of this is like still. Looks like it's kind of just drawn in one way. And then you have him walking in, like, the 3D. Alright, don't mention him. We won't mention him. We just walked across the same thing. <laughs> and the same people doing the same poses. Captain Morgan. I'm also curious if he keeps this same personality throughout the thousand episodes. This very carefree, giggle, giggle, laugh, laugh, it'll all be okay. The maturation one can have in a thousand episodes and 14 movies and whatever could be insane. So I'm waiting to see what that event is going to be when he's no longer this, like, care for you. Maybe he is. Maybe he keeps that the whole time and only gets serious when it's time to, but like, he'll, he always keeps that Goku mentality. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 
All right, let's see what this Zoro dude's all about. We don't even know if he can really die. The way he's all bungee gummed out. Who's this? Who are you? Oh, she takes some food. What, she got a crush on him or something? Do you want to get killed? Oh, I thought this was like a reoccurring thing. Like that was his chick or something. Like she always just sneaks some food. Girl. You know you wanted those rice balls. She's trying. Oh, wow. Well, the dude, the dude's clearly going to protect the little girl. Like, he's going to rage for her, right? Yo, they're not going to execute the little girl. His dad is Captain Morgan. Well, I guess we're we're tossing our ass out. Golly. He's really about to send her ass to the moon. Let's see where his morals are at. It's like, no one harms little girls in front of me. I hate that guy's character design. Have they been trying to kill him? He just won't die? Like on some Wolverine shit, or... I like his character design, though. He wants to eat it. The girl made it for him. Did he eat it because he's hungry, or did he eat it because the girl made it for him? Probably a little bit of both. He tells the girl to. Well, hopefully they break this dude up out of here after this ep before this episode ends. Crucified in our place. What the hell kind of 2D looking wolf is that?
You know what's wild is though, like if you really had to, you could put down a dog and a, or a wolf. I think a wolf's probably about the highest you would be able to take. <clears throat> Oof. So how did he get in the position that he's in right now? And the man carries around three blades like he's Killer B? That's why she feels obligated to bring him food. Hmm, okay. Okay. Well, he's got to hold out for one more week. Uh-oh. Jesus. I'm hungry. Let's all eat for free. Jeez. Oh, what a convenience. What's she doing here? His character design is awful. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way on purpose, but I actually hate it. Okay. They're just dropping bodies. Yo, Kobe, get off me. Well, of course, they, they locked him up, right? Oh, shit. Does it look like Captain Morgan that's on the, uh, the alcohol bottles? I like the cut screens. They look pretty dope. Well, he's already wanted it. Or is that just for cut screen purposes? He probably will be after this. Freeing a prisoner from the Navy? Assaulting somebody? Flashback. Oh, his hair's green, too. Okay, I wonder how long that's going to be a thing. Like, we got to find out about that girl. For people to join my pirate crew. Pirates are despicable. And what is it that you want? What do you want?
He's about to go wild. I have a feeling this is going to be some, like, Goku versus Red Ribbon Army early days where he would just, <laughs> anytime they'd have a base or something set up, he would just go in and fuck shit up. Oh. What the hell? Okay, I thought that was really his face. He just has that, like, bolted in. I was like, dang, he's missing his bottom jaw. Oh, dang, he's saying he would have killed that little girl. Oh, wow. You know what's wild? We got a lot of black characters. You'd never see that. <laughs> and he's got this, like, welded... Axe on his shit? It's like bolted into the side of his jaw. What? Like, are we going to get backstory on, like, how this happens? <laughs> Probably not. I feel like we're going to just be moving around a lot of these early episodes. Uh-oh. Don't tell me he's going to, like, bungee gum rocket up there. Here he goes. Holy shit. Ah. Clearly he's about to dot this dude up, right? How do you even get food or anything in there? But say, what the hell is she up to? She just happens to be always like where we're going. Coincidence. <laughs> Light him up if you want to.
Oh, Kobe. Yeah, this this isn't what he envisioned uh, somebody of the Navy being. Yo, can we uh get get that shit untied? He went through all that for nothing for three weeks. Oh, and he's there too. Tell me you got that arm loose at least, right? He has a sign on his room that says, My Room. Jeez. All right, we're going to have to get past the crying uh, Midoriya Kobe phase. <laughs> I swear that axe just like tripled in size. All right, here comes Luffy coming in hot. Another flashback to that chick. Gotta be a sister, right? Oh yeah, I forgot the bullets don't... Oh my god. Is he killable? Can we? Is he? There's going to be somebody in the story that has the ability to kill him, or slice through him, or cut a limb off, or something. But like, what is happening? Oh, the episode's over. Oh shit, it is. All right, we got some solid stuff right there. Clearly, whoever Zoro is is going to be. I guess a major player for a while. We're kind of piecing it together, getting introduced to I guess who the squad is going to be or who the like the the tier one B characters are going to be. I just need to find out, you know, what is Luffy? Why is he what he is, and what what can he not do? Um, the man literally scaled what was uh, six. 10 plus story building <laughs> he just ate bullets like they were nothing so like right now in these early stages I don't know what can kill him if anything you know um, I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see how that plays out how he how he how he can be injured is the question right now that's probably my biggest question is like you know because did we see him take swords earlier in episode one I mean, we saw him took bullets. He got hit upside the head. I, I, I don't know. But clearly, you know, it makes no sense to have a story where the main character can never be injured. Or, I mean, unless they have plot armor. But, like, it, clearly he can't be injured. Um, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. And we'll just find out more about Zoro and the girl. Um, she's here, too. And again, it happens to be in the same building as we are. Um... So hopefully she'll get integrated soon, so it's not just like, you know, what is she after? Why do we keep coincidentally ending up in the same spots? But we'll wait and see uh, what happens. But I guess that's about it. In the early stages, the the, po the post discussions are going to be kind of short because there aren't abilities or world building or fights or plots or stories or, you know, 
things to really discuss until we really get in there and going and start finding out about some of this stuff. But uh, we'll leave it there and see how it goes. Two down, 956 to go. We're making our way. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate it. Like, share, favorite, subscribe as always.